Next, we're gonna assess her hip flexion in multiple different angles. This is a really important test to figure out where an athlete's hip is best set up to squat. We'll find a lot of athletes that have been told in the past that you need to squat with a shoulder width stance or with your toes pointed forward are actually squatting in a position that's not optimal for their hip. And this is one of two tests we'll use to help identify your best possible squat positioning. So what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna have Steph just relax and I'm gonna take her leg and I'm gonna move her up into straight hip flexion. And as I'm moving up, when I get to about right here, it gets pinchy on her hip. I feel tightness. I'm not jamming into that because I want to be nice and not irritate her hip, but she doesn't have a whole lot of hip motion there. And I'm just going to move her hip into varying angles and try to identify where we feel like there's, there's a pocket that has the most possible mobility. And for Steph, we're kind of blocked here, blocked here, right there is, is kind of her pocket where she has the most possible mobility. Now, if I was to grab Steph and lift her up and have her standing here, this is pretty much exactly where we saw her squat earlier. A lot of athletes will naturally go to this stance, but every now and then you're going to catch somebody who's had a, a improper coaching or found something false online. And because of that, they're squatting in the wrong position. But naturally people are usually going to go to this position because it's what's most comfortable and what allows them to squat uh, to the best depth. What I want to look for with this is then, are we in a position here where her foot could be flat on the ground if I lifted her up? Because every now and then you'll find this pocket, but at the same time, their leg will be really, really turned in like this in that pocket. And that's not a really functional way to squat here because if she was to try to squat from this position and that's what her hip looked like, she'd be squatting out on the outside of her foot. That wouldn't allow her to generate a lot of force or perform the lift safely. So we want to find the pocket in a position that allows that the foot would be able to be flat on the ground. And then we can also play around with a little rotation here because sometimes they'll naturally go to this position, but they do have the mobility to rotate out. Or maybe they're a hair shy of being where the foot could be flat, but I know that if I work on improving their hip internal rotation a little bit, or if they're like this and I work on improving their external rotation a little bit, we can get them to a point where they can get to where they're squatting in that pocket in that most optimal position. And we'll, we'll say, all right, we're gonna get you positioned to where when you squat, your knee's at the same position that it was with that hip scour test. And then we're gonna have the athlete squat. And we're gonna basically just communicate with the athlete on, you know, is that comfortable or not? And from there, we can make slight alterations in that. We can go feet a little wider, feet a little bit more narrow, toes in or out a little bit more, play around with it. But we're gonna use those tests to give us a general guideline for where their hip is gonna be in its best position to squat optimally.